Excited to be filming. I've waited for this day to come, the day I actually do something with my life. I made these shorts myself. I can never be more proud of myself. I made these shorts. I made these shorts. Like, I made them. Well, okay, let's not go too crazy. So, today I'm gonna share with you guys how to make those, like, vintage looking shorts that everyone is wearing now because. Why pay so much money for them when you can make them yourself? And my hair is getting in my face. So the jeans I, oh man, my hair. Jeans I used to make these shorts are a pair of regular fit Lee jeans. These um, are called the regular fit, they're straight leg, and they are men's. I bought these at Goodwill for like seven, eight dollars, can't really remember. But these were seven to eight dollars, guys. The actual pair of jeans. So there are two ways that you can go about making this DIY. You can go the thrifted way or you can go the store-bought way. Now I went the thrifted way mainly because it was way cheaper. Now one thing is that when you walk into um, a thrift store, be super, super um, just like open to so many things, which I normally am. I went in, I took every single pair of jeans off of the rack and I tried them on. When you try them on, you want to make sure you're looking for something that is fitting at the waist and maybe four inches down your thigh because the rest of the leg doesn't really matter since we're making them into shorts. You want to make sure they fit your butt, your waist, and some of your thigh. So I did a little research just, just to share with you guys the stuff that I found. These were seven to eight dollars. Um, they were black, regular, standard fit regular fit they call them and I searched these up online to see how much it would be to actually buy them if you weren't thrifting them which I don't know why you wouldn't thrift them but if you did have if you do have a thrift store go look for just a pair of jeans like this so these jeans regularly cost $44 they just happen to be on sale for $24 but regularly these jeans are $44 so I got them for seven um eight dollars and that's it, like that's what I got them for. So the shorts that I was trying to recreate are the ones that look like this. These are the ones that everyone talks about. Um, and I went on Etsy and I found that someone was selling them for $30 and more. So the fact that I made these for less than $8. If you guys wanna see how to make these shorts, which have now changed my life, keep on watching. Hi guys, we're starting this right now. Just thought I'd like to, you know, let you guys know that these awesome pants have like a great pocket for the butt. It's amazing. Um, the things you're gonna need are a ruler, uh, some scissors, and something to mark your jeans with. Um, over here, I'm just making sure I'm stretching out the fabric as much as possible, making it straight. That way I get the most accurate measurements. Make sure you measure at least four inches from the crotch area because that way it will make it so much easier and more comfortable to cut and wear. The shape I'm going to be doing is going to be like a V shape and the reason why I do this is because when, you know, after all of the designing and the wearing happens, it just looks better. The design gives it more of a unique feeling. When you cut them short, the style of the shorts just don't really make them interesting to look at. So doing this V-shape really does help uh, the shorts and the cut itself. I'm going to be doing a folded design, so I cut um, at least 4 inches. That way when they frayed by themselves, I could just fold them back up. 
This is what the final design looks like after I freshly cut it and now I'm going to throw it in the wash to wash and dry in really really hot water. This will help the fringe and the pulling and the tearing on the fabric start to um, pull some of that out to create that fringe look at the bottom where we just cut them and I really like the way these look and they came out really well. So before we add the distressing, I want to iron down the folds that I just decided to cut. So I went to the um, ironing table and I folded the shorts to my liking and I ironed them flat. To de-stress, you could use a nail file or you can use one of those like dead skin exfoliator things, which I used both of them. So I'm going to pick an area I want to make a cut in. This is the back pocket. I put the scissor through the fabric after making a little design and I go ahead and just cut it um, to my liking. With these little slits, I like to make sure I use a nail file to really get that fringe design and when you wash it, it will come out more. And if I want to do big areas, like one whole pocket, I'll take that like full exfoliator thing and I'll just go at it. And that's how I create that kind of distressing look. Yeah, paradise, yeah, yeah, it's somewhere that I've never been before.